Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Doreen Gua and in this channel we do matters fashion, matters travel, matters faith, matters lifestyle and life in general. And this morning I am super excited. I'm not sure if I look as, as, as excited as I am, but this is at like 5.30 in the morning. I am going on a work trip. I'll be going to Mombasa, Kilifi, Malindi uh, for benchmarking tour. So let me just take you through what's going on here. Um, we are a financial institution. And so we are visiting other financial institutions for benchmarking purposes. Maybe to check on things we can, we can improve on in our institution or we can help them uh, improve on in their years. And it's going to be one week with colleagues. This is on the 6th of the month and we're coming back on 13th, so basically a whole week. So this is at like 5.30 in the morning at the set and I am just busy cross-checking my list to see what I might have forgotten uh, before I leave. And uh, let me just show you guys. I, I love being a plug, your plug. Okay, forgive the products that are very vis visibly uh, showing none of them are sponsored but i love this bag it's just i just want to show you guys uh this bag before i leave i hope i won't get late there's a bag that i got to purchase um something i love about this bag is how it puts everything together like i can just put them through and um tie a knot for the zinango i have not done a good job fixing it uh, tie a knot, have everything there. The, my favorite thing about this bag is that you, it has a space for everything. So it's almost impossible for you to forget anything because you know where the lotion needs to be, where the sunscreen, where the cleanser, all that stuff. So yes, I'm super excited for this week and you guys come with me. We went by bus and I did not take a lot of footage in the bus. This is a photo of me in our first stop over. And uh, this is the following day where we slept. It's at a villa called MJ Homes at Mtwapa. Uh, such a beautiful place. It has enough. There are two villas in the compound. One that can hold 11 people, another one that can hold up to 7. And um, there's food that they prepare, which you pay separately. We spent 3500 for both the food, that is breakfast, and uh, bed. From the room, you can see the ocean. Uh, there's a beach there. There's swimming pool in the compound. The rooms are big enough that they also have a baby cot. They have enough wardrobes in case you don't want to spend more than one night there. So you put your things there. Uh, the compound is so beautiful. A lovely place for photos. A place I highly recommend. This is where we slept in our day one and we love it. By this time, we are done benchmarking for the first uh, institution of the day. Now we are headed into Kilifi. People did some shopping there at Mtopo Mall. 
and this is us by bus on our way to Kilifi. So again, we got at Kilifi. Uh, we got to Kilifi at night. This was my favorite place. The whole entire stay in coast. Uh, it's a place called Distant Relatives uh, Resort. Distant Relatives Resort. And seeing shortly why this was my favorite place. Uh, first of all, their contemporary uh, place and uh, aesthetic. This is the Urano outside. Um, yes, that is me in the morning. This place is <laughs> just blessing my whole heart and my favorite part is the outside can you guys see this outside shower <gasps> oh my good lord shower in the bushes it's how contemporary the place is everything about this place is just so kind of old I don't know it's just so contemporary yeah something also is that their windows have got no window seals I think by virtue of being in Kilifi it's expected that it's hot and we need the wind sleeping though this time it has been raining and we have frozen sleeping no wind seals no wind seals as i was saying my other very exciting feature in this place is their washroom <laughs> so first of all check out the wall to the bottle on the walls and then here is the washroom let me just show you there's no so apparently these guys make biogas so when you've gone to the loo when you've gone to the loo you clean up the loo with sawdust not water it's so exciting and i think i have never seen this and then it's like a very private place beautiful well groomed wooden place these guys are economical and that you guys know i'm a financial advisor makes me feel good <laughs> the fact that they use their own light from their biogas here is a urino outside again I love everything about this place moving on to the compound good morning Papa kuna swing hey I'm telling you guys this place is one hell of a beautiful place or should I say heaven because wow just wow Believe it or not, guys, we only spent 2200 for the stay here, and uh, breakfast was paid separately, and that did not cost more than 600 shillings. Morning.
So as I was saying, I am a bush girl and it's time I accepted <laughs> the beauty of this place. Oh my good lord. I am yet to fathom. <laughs> So this is uh, basically day three, day three of my safari, our safari, and we are enjoying. And I think another thing I love about Mombasa is I can wear whatever color of clothes, I can wear whatever shoes. This sand is not about to stain my anything, clothes or feet. It's the bushes for me. So this place is called Distant Relatives in in uh, in Kilifi. So this is how the rooms look from outside and then in the inside it's a whole other compound with a bathroom outside and a biogas toilet. There's some makutis over there. I don't know, I'm just sold. Kilifi, I shall be back. We are now in Malindi. There was no institution we were coming to see at Malindi. We just came to have fun uh, and also visit the Dagama Pillar. We are in Watamu, Some baby. of our people slept there. The rest of us went to sleep in Watamu. We slept at Tato Bay Resort uh, for that day and also spent the following day at uh, at Tato Bay. This was a lovely place. Lovely, lovely, lovely place. Um, this was the most expensive place we spent here but it's also because there were things going on activities water sports and stuff like that that we subscribed to for the following uh, day so we spent eight thousand at turtle bay for bed breakfast lunch okay for full board and also water sports
So we got to Atamua bit late. This was like 7:30 in the evening. So there were still activities lined up for us for that night. So the, here is my room. I'll show you a view uh, of my room. So beautiful inside. The view is breathtaking even at night. It's not visible on camera, so I'll show that in the morning. And so I just went for dinner. I love that the dinner is by the poolside. Uh, there was a number of trainings going on there apparently, so we found the place a bit crowded. But it was an amazing place. Uh, five course dinner, and then there were acrobats entertaining us as we took dinner. Good morning from Watamu. Here is the balcony view that I was unable to show last night. And there is the ocean. I don't know if it's just me, but water is just therapeutic. I don't even need to swim in it. I just need to be around it and that's enough. What is this day five? No, it's day four. breakfast by the poolside again uh, and then we have a whole day lined up with the water sports At this, at this point, we were scheduled for water rafting, but the tide was so high and there was no activity that could be done at the ocean. So we just came to chill by the ocean, waiting for the tide to go up. The no tide is too high, so nothing really can go on here in terms of uh, water games. But we are happy, at least we know we, are, we were at Watamu. I think we shall be back in the afternoon.
at this point I already look like a swimmer it's how close the pool and the beach are for me This was the only water spot I got to record for the whole day. The rest of them happened in the ocean and it was so busy for me to record. This was uh, aqua aerobics. I think that's what they're called. And we had such a lovely time here. Too bad we have to go back home guys i'm home thank you for watching the video till the end i hope you guys enjoyed the whole video thank you for coming this far and uh yes uh don't forget to subscribe to this channel to do good to be good wherever you are with whatever you have looking forward to seeing my other video bye